Hey everyone, welcome to a new YouTube video. In today's video, I want to go ahead and record a quick segment on Leonardo AI. I've been noticing that there's been something a little bit odd lately about Leonardo AI. And maybe it's just me, maybe they're doing some updates behind the scenes. So I wanted to pull out this video to see if you guys kind of agree with me. And I've been noticing, I've been just having some fun creating some uh, you know, off the wall type designs. I think this is one that I really like here. Um, I've been creating some interesting things that I found are a little more simple, right, in terms of the prompt, but better outcomes. I don't know if, once again, this is 100% the case for everybody. I've been noticing this for me, and that's why I want your guys' opinion. Let me show you some of the prompts that I've been working with here that can generate some oddly interesting stuff. So I went ahead here and used uh, a prompt that says a Starry Night shirt design of a Pikachu. Remembrance style, high quality, UHD, luminous studio graphics engine, violet, green, black ground. And these are some of the outputs here. Pretty, pretty insane with the colors, especially once some of these designs get upscaled. They do change depending on the nature of the upscale. Uh, next, I changed the model. So this is the Waco model, which is the model I created. And then here I have this model, which is just the typical Leonardo Diffusion one, which I think I like a little bit better in terms of the outputs. This one is a little crazy outputs, um, but it's interesting. And then you look at kind of these images here, which is uh, interesting as well. More Definitely more lifelike from a Pikachu remembrance style and you can see here the the uh, output here is the exact same I haven't changed anything here and um, very very nice stuff uh, I went over here and I created a request for a Charmander it's the only keyword I changed and once again some really amazing colors and and creations and all kinds of cool stuff um, and once again, I just sometimes when I'm bored, I just like to create random stuff and test random stuff, even if I'm not going to use it necessarily. And here I switched to the Waco model once again, and uh, not that attractive for sure. But watch this switch the model or kept the same model, excuse me, but this time use the word Charizard. And I had some crazy outputs, crazy, crazy outputs. You know, um, then I switch the model and look at this. This is kind of crazy, right? So this is the Leonardo Diffusion model. And boom, look how cool that one is. That one's really cool. Then you have this one. This one is really good. I think this one is probably the most put together, like the best one. This one is really good too. You know, might have to do some magic erasing here, but overall pretty good. And then look at this one. So this one, I changed the text around a little bit, just added some keywords. And this one is probably the best output. I really like this one. Not necessarily looking for the Charizard look. I'm just looking for the character that has like the dragon and the wings. And this one and this one really impressed me. You know, pretty easy to fix the toes and the feet. Um, if you guys want to see a video on how I do stuff like that, I'll leave a link in the description on how I edit these type of photos, but they look pretty ridiculous, you know, just insane to me. This one is amazing. I love this one a lot. This one is really cool. And, uh, this one's okay. I mean, it definitely looks a little bit different for sure. Um, but these are all pretty much, you know, different, really different, really cool. And the colors are just popping. The, uh, the 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 lights are just shining. Um, can't really say much to this. I did add, like I said, a few keywords in my design uh, prompt. But boy, is this a change. And these are relatively simple prompts compared to what they could be. They could be a lot more complex. You guys have seen some prompts that are probably like, you know, five, ten lines long. I probably don't even need to talk about that. If we just simply went to the generations page... You know, and we look at some of these, some of these could be some really, really long prompts, like something like this. 
uh, which is amazing. You know, you look at Leonardo's art overall, it looks really, really good. So I wanted to ask you guys, have you noticed that you can create some really good art without having to be too specific with the prompts? That's what I've been noticing. Leave it in the comments down below. I was just interested. Haven't made a Leonardo Diffusion video in a long time, but I figured I'd talk about this. If you guys want to see more of some of the different creations that I've been making and some of the ones that I've been selling with Adobe stock, let me know in the comments down below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you for watching and peace out. Bye.